An illiterate ghost. How interesting. Hey, having chicken for breakfast? Well, it's free. Just dropped down from heaven. Peggy! How come this place hasn't been mopped? What is wrong with it? Do I have to teach you your work? Had a long night. What? Long night? No, no, just uh, preparing for the day. You? How was yours? Never slept better. Good. Good to hear that. Yeah. Mm, listen, we are having a gaming in the afternoon. Would you like to join us? Sorry, I don't think I can make it. I have a huge meal to deal with. Peggy! <laughs> this one will make them forget that they have legs. <laughs> you call that scary? I just saw Albert looking very relaxed. Boss, I'm telling you, he's pretending. He's very afraid. Calling me a fool? You think I don't know the difference between someone who's not scared and someone who's obviously amused by your schoolgirl pranks? Boss, I'm telling you, by the time I finish with that man, he'll run out of Makutano the way people ran away from Ebola. I want him to leave. I don't want his to be the first face I see in the morning again. Boss, trust me. Going somewhere? No. You've closed early. Closed? No, I'm not closing. I just thought I should run home and have a little nap. Not much business here today. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you are not working this afternoon? I am. I've just been to the clinic to see one of my students. He went down with malaria. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, he collapsed at the assembly this morning and sent the whole school into a panic. It's terrible. Sorry to punish you with my school problems. Ah, come on, that's perfect law right with me. In that case, I'll see you at home. At home, uh, yes, uh, or here at the shop. I might go to visit a friend, not sure. But either way, I will let you know. I'll call you on your mobile. What friend? I could meet you later. Uh, but I'll be moving around a lot. Huntington is giving me a lift in his car to go visit one of my stationary suppliers. I told you about how unserious he has become of late. Ah, I'd love to meet that guy. He sounded quite a character. Please, wait for me. I'll be home early. Uh, okay. Mr. Kakiri Wamurati, lovely wife, Magdalena. Magdalene, if he's not there, we meet at Maboki Bar. I love you, Reginald Swakira. Think of me always, Magdalene, Raymond. Raymond, Reginald, Sakira, and Kakiri Wamurati. This is getting juicy. So, Speedy, what did you tell me about the vet? The what? The veterinary doctor. What did you say you wanted to meet us about? To meet? You told me this morning that the veterinary doctor wanted to meet all of us dairy farmers to discuss milk care and hygiene. Milk and hygiene? Speedy, are you normal? Normal? He's not. He's also always like that with me. You tell him one thing, he does another. But mommy! Anyway, I was coming along with you to see your sick auntie. If she hasn't already died, 
I'm sorry I can't make it. The vet is going to be very disappointed if I of all the people miss the meeting. We will go together then. My sick auntie can wait until tomorrow. Which means they both have relatives in Kibota. I wish I could understand what you're saying. You see, this guy Kariz tried to give me the impression that he owns this place. I don't think he does. It has just never been clear who exactly owns it since its last owner died. And who was this? Some guy called Raymond. Weird and quiet. Rarely spoke to anyone. Either that or Reginald. I can't remember very much. I was very young then. Albert, can you please talk about what brought me here? These are the guys you're talking about. This here is their uncle. And all three fellows owned this place in succession according to letters from their relatives in Kibota. Which means that if you want to find the current owner of this place, you have to go to Kibota, not Makutano. Karuz is just assuming ownership of this place because people don't know. And because nobody's interested. Ah, oh, but this place is supposedly haunted. Exactly what I was coming to. Somebody has been playing pranks on me the whole night, trying to make me believe that this place is actually haunted, so that I may confirm this to the village by running away. Albert, can we please talk about us? And most interesting, all three fellows apparently had an affair with the same woman. So who are you having an affair with? What affair? You promised you'd come for the dance, and you never did, and you didn't even bother to call me to cancel. But I did. I even left a message with your friend. She was the one who picked up the phone when I called. Which friend? Cheryl, of course. She was also the one who called and told me that you were in some kind of situation that I needed to know about. She could not tell me over the phone, but it sounded really urgent. I said I'd wait till you told me. Cheryl, really? <gasps> that witch! Shall I see you tonight? Hey. Hey. Hey, why are you doing this to me? What's your problem? Leave me alone. Come on, it's not like we haven't done it before. Please. I, I told you, it's over. Come on, one last kiss. <laughs> I'll scream. Come on, I love you. <laughs> love yourself. You're going to pay for this. You don't scare me. I want my money back. Where did that come from? I'm giving you till the end of the week to pay up or it's going to be a different story with your pharmacy. We had an agreement on how I was to repay that money. And I'm sure you haven't lost your copy. Well, I lost it. The deal is cancelled. I want my money by the end of the week or... Or what? You know what I'm talking about. Your husband has no idea what his pretty little wife has been up to in his absence. Now, we wouldn't want him to find out, or do we? I can assure you that this child is going to be very all right. <laughs> Mr. Washington, I must thank you very much for all that you have done. Don't mention it. Please, have a good day. Thank you, Dr. Nurse! Nurse! What is this I see here? Doctor, please. She told me that you have crossed, but my child is ill. My problem is not with you or your child, but you are trying to encroach on my leisure time. Please, Doctor, at least give him an injection so he can feel well. You can see him later, please. You see, I'm not a witch doctor who just gives medicine without thinking. I must know the sickness first before I prescribe. Now, what I'm trying to tell you is that my working day is ended, and I need to go and relax like all civilized people do. Now, please, quickly, get out of here. Come back with your child tomorrow. Please, Dr. Tari, please help. Please. Now, when you notice that your child was sick, you should have brought him the first thing in the morning, and not wait until I'm about to go for my relaxation. You don't think you can come here and distract me anytime you wish? My working day is over, I'm not working, and that's final. Dr. Tari, Dr. Tari, please. Hey, please, you. Work 24 hours, please. Dr. Tari! Dr. Tari! That is stupid, Mon. But why do you abuse me? Because it is stupid. How can we call a barber shop like this one player salon? Are we prostitute dealers? But that doesn't mean you abuse me. If I bring up a suggestion, you can't just stop it and not bring your own. You are the reason why we don't have a name. Because I first think! Hi, guys. Oh, yes, man. Sorry, Mon. Please take a seat. What, cut? Oh, just want a beard, too. Or just a simple shave. You heard him. Hey, man, you're brave. Why? Staying in that house. Anything wrong with it? The ghosts, man. There are no ghosts. They are there. That's what you think. You know the man they call Charisma Buki? He wants to stay there. Why do you echo me? Pass me the powder. You see, that man, 
He stayed there for one night, then he ran mood. Walked around the village in a suit without his shoes, making threatening speeches. Man, mm. what is your case? Why do you keep on interrupting me in my story? If you knew this story so well, why didn't you start it? It is believed, you know, the man, the spirits were so strong that he had to go to Mombasa to see a witch doctor for him to change them away. Nobody ever goes into that house and smiles the next day. Wait for your turn, man. Do you know of any other person who has ever spent a night in it? Who will dare? Why would anyone want to disturb spirits that have not interfered with him? You are the first person. I could have sworn somebody had given her the plan. When I locked up, she was there. As far as my wife is concerned, I am meeting the vet. <laughs> huh. You are lucky you are at the vets. Rose is expecting me to be home now, waiting for her so that we go visit a friend. But you can always tell her that you had to attend a very urgent burial. <laughs> <laughs> More drinks, gentlemen? I'll have the red one I've been taking. It tastes like something I've not tried out. Yes, I also noticed that it's new. I'll have the same. Okay. <laughs> Are the drinks properly punched? Yes. Even the refills? These people must not sense any difference. I'm sure. You better be. Ah, here's the man himself. Drinks uh, 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 of the house. Please, pick a glass from there. Washington. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, go on sip before you toast. What's wrong with you, Washington? Yeah, you go. Huh? Yeah. Hey, what is this, gentleman? What is this stuff? The young man's concoction. Hey. Reinvented chloroquine or what? <laughs> Come on, gentlemen, let us place our bets. You know the game, the winner takes the jackpot and the stakes are... Young man, please, build the cards. We know the rules. In fact, some of us have already identified the plots to buy with our winnings. <laughs> gentlemen, your bets, please. Uh, we give someone neutral. Uh, Peggy. Um, Gentlemen, we are all grown ups here. Anybody can hold the money. Peggy, then. Right. Okay. Peggy, it is. Here. Right. This world will never run out of idiots. All trespassers die! Ha 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 ha! Why me? Why me? Idiot! Why do you run away if you're for real? Come out and show yourself! If you call yourself anything. You can't be playing. You elevated. You elevated. I didn't. You actually did. I didn't. Gentlemen, we are all grown-ups here. We ought to be able to understand one another. Grown-ups, what when I'm being cheated? Ah, play then. Let's see how it's going to benefit you. Hey, baby. More drinks? Do you have to keep asking? Can't you work it out when you see the empty glasses? <clears throat> uh, Ebebek, end game. What is that? End game, I win. How come? What do you mean, how come? Are you sitting on some cards, you? That's the last money I had. You can check if you want. That was the last money I had. Now, young man, this business of you winning, winning all the time. Excuse me, gentlemen, I have to go to the toilet. I'll be right back. This is not fair. Hmm? Did you find anything? No. Young lady, 
What is your boss doing? Eh? Is he hiding some cards? But are you sure it was a real person who made those noises? If you still want to talk about the ghost story, man, feel free to go somewhere else. We have already decided that it was not a ghost. End of story. Now, we are on other issues. But if he had voices and he didn't see the person who was making them, don't you see there is something there? <laughs> but he has already told you that whoever it was was seated on the damn stool. Now, have you ever seen a ghost move around with a the stool? There are different kinds of ghosts, man. <laughs> Let's not waste our breath on this. I have organized for this ghost to be arrested. I think I've already worked out his pattern. You wait. Go on. As you can see from these pictures, Kakiri Wamurati married her, while Raymond and Reginald Swakira, who were brothers according to these letters, both had secret affairs with her. Now, how do you explain the fact that they all died one after the other, including the lady who just disappeared into thin air if it was not the curse on the house? But the moon has already told you, man, that Kakiri Wamurati died of AIDS. Come on, man. Do you want that to be turned into a song for ya? <laughs> Look here. These are Kakiri Wamurati's medical notes, all signed by Dr. Richard Moridi of St. John's Home Care Medical Center. So what? Dr. Richard Moridi? The name doesn't ring a bell. You'll leave this one. Why do you pretend to be more intelligent than yourself? If you know this guy, I'm going to give you 1,000 Kenya shillings today. In fact, right now. 1,000 free money. Go on. He was a famous HIV AIDS researcher who died of AIDS himself. He treated not only Wamurati, but his wife Magdalene as well. And Magdalene, according to the letter, slept with both Reginald and Raymond. Effectively infecting both of them with the virus. And leading them to an early grave. Precisely. So, what happened to the woman? I am not playing anymore. Uh, Caris, lend me some, we play again. Uh, lend me, uh, I'll repay you tomorrow. But you owe me a lot of money, Buana Mulan. You lend me. Are you scared of losing? Lend me money, we play again. Uh, deal the cards. You young man, there is something you are doing. Why don't you accept defeat like me and give up? Am I playing your money? <clears throat> now, deal the cards. Let's play. Lend him if you are lending him. Peggy, the books. Bring his eyes. You cockroach. Is this home? Uh -huh. You said you were going home to take a nap. Is this your bedroom? Sitting room. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you, if you please. What? What did she call me? You mean you didn't hear? Let's go. <laughs> okay. And you men, what kind of example are you setting up for your children? Okay, it is, you know... You... Washington, I didn't hear. Something terrible. Mm. Like what? Let's go. You brought yourself here. Instead of taking food to your starving families, you are here gambling what you do not even have. Okay, uh, uh, let, let, let me... It's I like... said, let's go. You, you should stop destroying our families. These bars should only be opened after working hours. What you're doing here is obviously illegal. But... <laughs> Move! <laughs> Washington, you still haven't told me what she called me. You see, what you don't know doesn't pain you. <laughs> Deal the cards, let's play. <laughs> Did you hear that? What? Huh? What could you do? I'm right behind you. <laughs> That's your ghost. Huh? Do you want to come and see what he was up to? Uh, I'm expecting some customers. Maybe Ben. Uh, no, 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 man. It's okay. Me, I got to go back and clean the instruments. You know how you people bogus when you find them dirty? I'll take my things then. No, no, no problem at all. We can go and get them for you. You're sure you don't want to come and see? No, no man. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, Sharon, I'm just doing this for you. 200 shillings is too little for that top. 
Besides, it's being won by stars on television. But it's too big. Why would you want a small one? That guy is nice, eh? Who? <laughs> that lover boy who can't keep his wife from stealing other people's men. But are you sure she really slept with Caris? Cut the subject. I will get to that man snatcher later on. Who's the man snatcher here? Eh, Nancy. Why didn't you deliver the message from my husband when he called to say he wasn't coming for the party? How much are you paying me for secretarial work? It was my phone ringing. You went ahead and answered it and deliberately didn't deliver the message he gave you. So Sharon, are you buying that dress or not? I need to get away from this mad woman. You're not going anywhere until we're sorted. And who gave you the right to call my husband without my consent? If you want to retain your teeth, woman, get out of my face. And you pretended to be my friend. Now you know I'm not. Get out of my way or I'll make you. Try. You man snatcher. If you want my man, just say so. Eh? I'll kill you. Please, please don't fight. Don't fight. Please. Sharon, you call me. Make her my next sister. <laughs> Did you hear that? Now what is it again? No worry, gentlemen. It's just one prostitute fighting another. You know, if two prostitutes are fighting, that is not news. Let's play. It was your go when we went out. Okay. Uh. Hey, be back and give. What? It can't be. These cards have been altered. Washington, why can't you just accept defeat? Not when I'm being cheated. Who's being cheated? Mm. How many tools are there in a pack? Four. No, it can't be. Hmm? You played two of them, and I played one, and I still have one here. So where do you get the one you are playing? Give me my Aye. chair. Today was my lucky day. Maybe tomorrow will be yours. Washington, just accept. Nah. Young man, don't think I'm foolish. I have been around longer than you. And I can smell a rat when there's one around, however clever it might think it is. Watch out. Sinstrand! Sinstrand, stop before you fight me. I don't care what you say. I have to kill that bear. Oh. Out of the way you get her. Oh, Bill, you cut this one. Don't stare if you chop your teeth. So this one called the other one's husband on his mobile. No, it was after this one slept with that other one's man. Nancy, can you see that you're embarrassing yourself? We are going to take both of you to your homes now. You're taking me no more. Yes, sir. I'll kill you. Oh, yes, figure. I told you I'm not working. I'm not working. I'm not working. 